Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called Fresh Savagery. My name is Diana and I'm here to take you on my 2017 wardrobe tour. Plus, I'm going to share some of my tips and ideas on how to declutter and organize using the KonMari method from the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. My top three tips are, number one, get rid of unused, worn out, and ill-fitting clothes or accessories, plus things that just don't belong in your closet. Number two, organize your items vertically for easy access. And number three, always sort and organize by category, not area. In order to utilize bins for organizing my small items, I picked up this natural colored hanging cloth shelf from Target in order to store my small bins for my different categories of items. Once you put the small bins into the shelving unit, they turn into little drawers that you can easily pull out and access to see each category of clothing. Here in the shelf, I have underwear, socks, t-shirts, cardigans, and miscellaneous dress shirts that are polyester and hold up well to being folded. For some of my bulkier items that I like to keep folded, I turn to these larger bins that I placed on the floor beneath my hanging clothes where I can see everything inside them quite easily. On my top shelf, next to some permanent storage, I have these four decorative boxes, two of which hold off-season accessories and purses, which are currently out of use. On the left-hand side of my closet, I store some of my bulkier items, such as dresses, jackets, and suits in these protective bags that I got for $1 from Dollar Tree, as well as some other off-season items that are still easy to see and easy to access if there happens to be a colder day and I'd like to get to them. Here are some of my pro tips on how to make your clothes last by taking care of them. Tip number one, hang the right things on the right hangers. Using the right hangers can really help lengthen the life of your clothes as well as keep them looking neat after you've washed them. Skirts and pants hangers keep away the creases you get from hanging those items on traditional hanger crossbars. Item specific hangers help to organize certain items by category so that you can easily see what you have. As you saw previously, I was using this exact hanger from Target to hang my scarves. Curved hangers for jackets help to keep the shape and take stress off of the collar so that the jacket lasts for longer. Also, don't forget, natural materials always elevate the look of your wardrobe and tend to be better for the environment than just purchasing more plastic hangers that are more likely to break. I've chosen to use Marie Kondo's tip of hanging longer and bulkier items on the left side of the closet, such as long jackets and pants and then lighter and shorter items such as t-shirts and cardigans on the right side of the closet so that the closet rises from left to right. Tip number two, using boxes and bins to store folded items. Folding and storing items vertically using the KonMari method makes it easy to see and access what you own. Fold items that don't wrinkle easily, and hang items which are linen, dry clean only, or are just too bulky for folding, like jackets. Marie Kondo specifically recommends repurposing shoe boxes in order to contain folded items. You can spend as little or as much as you like on storage solutions. The best way to pinch pennies is to repurpose items that you already have around your home and it gives you a chance to think creatively about storage. If you really feel like you need to purchase a specific storage solution for your space, I personally recommend going to your local vintage or thrift shop or visiting a super discount store like the Dollar Tree to see what they have. Tip number three, 
keep your closet fresh with natural deodorants. Getting rid of strong odors in your home can be difficult, and it also can be tempting to use harsh chemicals like bleach. Use baking soda, white vinegar, and activated charcoal to tackle strong odors which may have seeped into your walls and belongings. Some of the most common offending odors are smoke, pet odors, and mildew or mold. These three natural items are an affordable way to deodorize your living space. Check to make sure that they are safe for you and your pets first. Once you've deodorized and cleaned your home, use natural potpourri to keep your clothes and linen closets smelling fresh. Purchase or create a custom DIY potpourri scent for your space. Cedar wood hangers and wood chips can add a pleasant, earthy aroma. They also help to deter pesky moths. Tuck away a little bag of cedar wood chips or use hanging blocks of cedar. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel Fresh Savagery for my 2017 wardrobe tour. If you enjoyed my closet tour and like to see more videos like this, please smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the description box below for links to where to find me on the internet, as well as musician Kevin Mize, whose song is featured in this video.